1996, I started a business in the hotel sector. And today, we own, develop, and manage our own properties uh, throughout several countries in Europe. Around 2000, we were involved in a multi-unit transaction whereby eight hotels needed to be flagged with an international brand. We had several options on the table and finally decided that we would entertain two options. One of them being Holiday Inn and the other one being Marriott. Marriott is located in Bethesda next to Washington and we were invited by the Marriott development team to come to Bethesda and to discuss the possibility of flagging the eight hotels to a Marriott. Equally so, Holiday Inn tried to entertain us and do whatever they could to get us to get the Holiday Inn brand on the hotels. I was with, with our CFO, Dave Pice, and together we have planned to visit New York after visiting Bethesda. Having debated for days or maybe weeks which, which option to choose, and now having a whole afternoon free and available, at a certain point Dave asked me to stop debating and said, let it just go and we will discuss this and find a solution after the upcoming weekend when we're back in the Netherlands. Then Dave asked me, what should we do this afternoon? We had a free afternoon. This was quite unique for us, we were always on the move. And with Europe sleeping and us now having this afternoon, we decided we wanted to do something completely different. So Dave, who himself had been already with his wife to 770 years before, suggested we might go back to 770 because the memories he and his wife had still were very um, important for him. As we got to 770, several people welcomed us on the way from the sidewalk until the front door and word came that some Dutch people actually were touring 770 which resulted in a few of the Dutch people learning there actually coming to welcome us. After having a very inspiring tour through 770 um, we were asked why we wouldn't come along to the oil. Not fully understanding what that meant I said sure let's go and we actually got in the car immediately and drove to um, the, the, the oil. After arriving at the oil and being explained what the custom is, I actually sat down and wanted to write a quittle. There's benches and tables and every few meters there's a, um, a see-through box where there's papers and pens ready for people to be used. I took a pen which I realized was a Parker pen. And there is an issue of meyayish, which means somebody didn't give up a lost uh, object. So I thought it wasn't right to actually write with that Parker pen where somebody might still be hoping to get it back and had not given it up. I started writing with a different pen. And as I was writing my quittal, I came to the end of the quittal and thought, maybe I should write something about this transaction that was important for us at that time. Eight hotels, even today, is a very important transaction. I did that and finished realizing that Dave, who was sitting in the front, wasn't actually ready yet. And the last thing I wanted to do is to pressure him to finish off his quittal. So I folded up the paper and had to act busy so that he wouldn't feel that pressure. So I started un unintentionally playing with the pen that I was holding. And to my shock, I looked at the pen and it was a Marriott pen. That was something very, very powerful. I actually had just finished a quittal, wrote about direction between Holiday Inn and Marriott, and suddenly I'm holding a pen, which I had taken one of hundreds in my hand, which was a sign, which was a Marriott pen. Needless to say, I waited until Dave was finished, but then stood up and explained to him what happened. I also explained the Dutch person that came along with us and the Schleach who is in charge of the oil. And we went past all the other boxes to see if there were any other Marriott pens. 
for all I knew, there were maybe many more. Maybe somebody had left a whole bunch of pens there from Marriott. This was the only Marriott pen we found. Most of the other pens were black paper mates, all the same type. Obviously, we continued with Marriott and we flagged the eight hotels as Marriott. And Tilly, Dave's wife, strongly believes this story is part of what she simply believes of what, uh, what, 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 what she feels when she talks about the Rebbe.